I never originally planned to have the content of my research take center stage as much as it kind of has been, but I'm, I'm continually finding the, the methodological quandaries I come up against are so specifically tied to what research I'm doing and the data that I'm collect the nature of the data I'm collecting. Um, I, I can't really get around it, I don't think. So today I'm going to a wedding. The reason this is interesting methodologically, I mean, going to a wedding is pretty standard fare for an anthropologist. Um, but the problem is that it's a bit of a controversial wedding and the other teachers at the school have indicated to me that it's not really appropriate for the school to be sending anybody there to seem like the school is condoning the wedding because, well, it's a long story. But the nature of the wedding is really important to what I think is going to be the focus of my thesis, so I'm going anyway. I'm not sure if people are going to think badly of me for this or if there are going to be any consequences or if people just won't care because I'm sort of this weird outsider anyway. Um, but I, I think the pros outweigh the cons here. If you'll recall in the last episode, there were, there were two girls that I mentioned. One, her boyfriend accidentally messaged me on Facebook and the other one caused drama by sneaking off to sleep at her boyfriend's house. Now. The second girl I, I thought was going to be more significant, um, her situation kind of fizzled out, the relationship ended, words were had with the director of the school, and nothing else really came of it. Um, the first girl though has since been expelled for sleeping at her boyfriend's house, not sneaking off or anything, just on her own time. Um, and she's now as a result of that is getting married, so that's whose wedding I'm going to today. Uh, so I should clarify, the wedding is between Karen and Loa, so two different ethnic groups and from two separate villages from the one where I'm staying doing my field work so I have to go for a ride about 20 minutes or so um, to get to the village where the ceremony is and there's another ceremony tomorrow at the groom's village um, so I'll probably go to that as well and include that in this video. <laughs> It 
so it fucking should. Cool thing about coming to an event between both Karen and Loire is that people speak Thai quite a bit, so I can understand more of what's going on than usual. So I've just bought this neck thing that people have been selling at the house for the wedding for 120 baht. Apparently it's for men or women, so I feel a little strange wearing a necklace, but and I have no idea how to put it on. I have no, no idea how I'm going to get it off, but when in Rome. <laughs> so for now, just hanging out at the house with people. Um, no sign of bride and groom yet, not really sure how this works or when they show up or where they are. I, I guess I'll ask some people. So everybody seems to be here now and we're about to eat and I wasn't sure if I should eat inside the house or outside with everyone else and I wandered around a bit and I got invited to come in so I feel a bit strange and out of place but okay. And this guy's very friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you on it. How long? So I think I've ended up sitting with the women somehow. Um, but there's a drunk guy and a kid, a male kid near me, so I'm not completely out of place. Um, and the bride and groom uh, eating on their own behind me. <laughs> And there's a little sister finding soft drink. <laughs> and now I feel like I'm inconveniencing people because they noticed I wasn't eating. Oh, uh, They noticed I wasn't eating the uh, the raw variety of the food because I don't want to get a stomach bug. So they insisted on going to cook it for me, and so now I'm waiting longer than everybody else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other side for the Indian. Yeah, 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 and I'm back again. That's it for today. Um, we are just kind of sat around drinking and chatting and wandering around for a couple of hours and then people just kind of gradually started going home and some people just didn't go home. So I just spent an extra few hours talking to the villagers and seeing the village and stuff before coming back. All in all, pretty successful day. Check back in on Monday. Okay. So today is definitely the more uh, ceremonial event. Lots more fancy dress and makeup and photos and banners and balloons and all that sort of thing. So very, very different atmosphere to on Friday, which was a lot more chilled out. Just kind of come have a meal together, very relaxed. So for now everyone's sitting in the house and outside the house because there's like heaps of people here today. Um, just eating snacks and drinking and chatting and the bride and groom are walking around handing out like candy and stuff to everybody and time to eat.
So purely by chance, I think I ended up eating in the right place. I was with the men from the village of the bride. Um, just kind of fortuitously worked out like that. More photos after lunch. Back at school again. So after the meal, uh, just had a good time hanging around, talking to lots of different people, and there was some more photos with the bride and groom, and cleaning up, and uh, counting the money that was received as gifts for the wedding. So yeah, all sorted. Um, the bride seemed pretty happy. She seemed pretty pretty tired after today. Um, I'm sure it's been a long weekend, having stretched the proceedings out over four days, um, with the main ceremonies being Friday and today on Monday. What this day has really meant for me is kind of a representation of the give and take that anthropologists have in the field. Um, I mean, to be completely honest, I do get a lot out of going to this event myself. I, I get a lot of good data for my thesis. Um, I get to talk to lots of different people to get their perspectives on different things. I get to see lots of traditions and rituals and ceremonies. And that's why I came to Thailand. Um, so regardless of my relationship with anybody, I would be interested in going to this sort of event. But in order to give back to the communities, we kind of make efforts as anthropologists to try and help out where we can. And going to this event for me was a way of doing that because besides going to collect data, I genuinely did want to go just to support this girl um, who I've got to know over the course of the year and who won't be around at the school anymore. Um, she's going to start a new life with her husband and I just wanted to make sure she knew that, you know, I've got her back. Um, so hopefully I've, I've been able to do that. ถ้าเจ้าสาวดูวิดีโอนี้ขอแสดงความยินดีด้วยนะขอให้ให้มีความสุขตลอดไปนะแต่ว่าชีวิตน่าจะลําบากนะแต่ว่าชีวิตนี